Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new here. In today's video, we will be making a delicious crispy roasted duck. Now, we chopped up the duck and plated it very nicely here, but we will be showing you how to make a whole duck in the oven. So if you'd like to see how to make this, then please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, all of the ingredients we list will be in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so as per usual, we're starting off with the ingredients you need for this. So we're going to start off with two teaspoons of Chinese sauce. Now you can use any other type of Asian sauce that you'd like to use, but this is the one we normally use. And we're going to need two tablespoons of green seasoning, or as a substitute, you can do garlic, onion, cilantro, and coriander. You're also going to need one tablespoon of parsley flakes, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of lemon pepper, one tablespoon of pepper flakes, and one tablespoon of basil. And this is dried basil, of course. All of these are our dry ingredients. All right, so we have one tablespoon of soy sauce as well, one tablespoon of grated ginger, and one tablespoon of Chinese seasoning. Now, if you can't find this Chinese seasoning, you can use whatever you'd like as a substitute. Okay, so this is our whole duck. Now, we've already washed this with lemon, and you see here we're just making some holes into the duck. Now, th what this is going to do is it's gonna let all of those seasonings that we're going to add to the rub penetrate straight into the duck meat. So you're just going to make some fine holes. They're not too deep, but just deep enough so that it's penetrating through the skin. All right, so once your duck has been prepared, you're going to add one tablespoon of pepper flakes. You're then adding your one tablespoon of Chinese seasoning, the same seasoning from earlier. So we're gonna put it on both sides. Now, it's okay if you wanna put it on one side. It's entirely up to you because in the end of it all, we're gonna mix it all together and rub it all over the duck. But uh, we're just flipping it over to make sure both sides get it. You're also going to add one tablespoon of the grated ginger your one tablespoon of lemon pepper or black pepper if you choose not to use the lemon pepper. Also one tablespoon of oregano. One tablespoon of parsley flakes. One tablespoon of dried basil. And you're gonna add your one tablespoon of salt. Now this is one ingredient that you wanna make sure both sides and on the inside gets it. So we're also adding, we're adding half of that tablespoon on one side and half on the other. You're then gonna add your green seasoning or garlic, onion, and coriander, as well as cilantro. And we're just rubbing this all over the duck. Now you wanna make sure when you're rubbing this, you're getting both sides and getting straight into the, the holes that we made earlier. And you'll notice that automatically all of the seasoning is just gonna start going straight into those holes because they're going straight in to season the meat. Okay, so now we're adding our one tablespoon of soy sauce as well, and you're gonna add some of it on one side once again, and then on the other. We just wanna make sure that both sides are covered with this. So you're just gonna add it straight to the top, and then we're also going to take our Chinese sauce from earlier and also massage that in, and that will be two tablespoons. So you'll see we're massaging it really well, and you can see that the skin is absorbing all of that juice, and then you're just gonna flip it over and make sure both sides got it. And now we're just giving it a good rub down so that all of those seasoning is completely submerged onto the duck. And anything that we have left over in the container that you're using, you want to make sure that that's all over it as well. So then we're going to pop this in the fridge for about 24 hours to let this marinate. Okay, so now this is 24 hours later, what it looks like out if we take it out of the fridge. And now we're just turning it over with some tongs. You want to be careful with this. And you'll notice that the other side has a lot of seasoning on it. So we're going to let this sit also for another two hours at room temperature. All 
All right, so as you're leaving that to sit out, you can now prepare your ingredients that you're going to stuff the duck with. Now you don't have to stuff it, but we like to because it gives it some additional flavor. Today we're using white onions, red onions, and some tangerines. It's just gonna give it a nice citrus and acidic boost. And we're just stuffing that straight in. We cut them into smaller slices just to get them to fit all inside there. You can put anything that you'd like as a substitute. You can even put potatoes. You can make it a whole almost Thanksgiving feast if you'd like to. But uh, for the purpose of this video, we're only putting those ingredients. And then you'll want a pan that is tin foiled and has a rack preferably, just so that all the juices go straight down and you can use them later. And we're just gonna put our duck on top there as well as any of the additional seasoning from the container that you had it in the fridge with. This is just gonna, again, give it that boosted flavor. All right, so once you've done everything that you need to do for your duck, it's all ready to put into the oven. So we're gonna roast this at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. All right, so after an hour, this is what your duck should look like. Now, as you can see, the stuffing on the inside is not roasted yet. So that's an indicator as well, as well as the top of the duck that it's not ready yet. We're just taking it out to flip it over. So you can see now we're just flipping him over and setting him on his stomach of sorts. And from there, you can see the other side of the duck has some ridging to it as well as it's a little bit browner. So we're going to leave this in the oven once again for another hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so this is what our duck looks like thus far. And you can see that this side has a really nice brown color to it. And now we're just going to turn him over once again because he is going back into the oven. We want to make sure both sides have this nice golden brown color. So we're going to flip him over and then we're going to put it back into the oven for another hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is just going to ensure that everything is cooked to perfection. All right, and then after an hour, your duck is completed. Now you can see it has a really nice roasted color to it. It looks very delicious and we want to dig in right away. But um, we are going to carve out this duck so that we can plate it. Of course, if you are doing a sort of dinner or even this is really great around Thanksgiving, I guess. If you wanted to leave the bird whole and carve it at the table, that works well as, as well, but we are going to carve this up to plate it. Now, before that, we're just gonna set it aside and you could see all that remnants at the bottom of the pan. We are gonna take all of that and we're gonna make a nice sauce for it. So you could see it's a lot of duck fat, but it's also all of those little pieces from when we were flipping it over from the inside that fell out. So we're gonna take that into a bowl and then we're gonna add some simple ingredients like lemon juice, sesame oil, and soy sauce. This is no ordinary soy sauce though, it's a garlic chili one, so it gives it a really nice flavor to it. So first off, we're just taking the little pieces that you see here and we're just mashing them so that all of the flavor from inside of them is put into the liquid. And then we're just putting in our ingredients. We're putting in our sesame oil, we're putting in our garlic chili soy sauce, and the lemon juice. So we're just doing a few squirts of each, and you can do this to your discretion, or you can use anything you'd like to flavor this. And then we're just mixing that all together. Now, once you have this all mixed together, you would want to add anything else that, you want to try it and then add anything else that you think that needs to be added. So from here on, we're adding a little bit of the Chinese sauce from earlier that we used to marinate it. And we thought that that really did give the sauce a nice flavor. And this is optional. You can leave the sauce as is with the pieces if you'd like to, but we decided to strain this so that it's just the nice liquid as a sauce. And you can see here that the sauce has this kind of gradient color that's just due to the fat. So once you mix it together, it should be fine. All right, and that is our duck. So as you can see, we plated it up by carving out the duck into its pieces and adding some garnishing. So we added the celery pieces as well as some lemon on there because we used a lot of lemon in this recipe. And of course, we have our delicious sauce in the middle. 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see that this is a very much roasted duck. Has a nice crispy skin on the outside and as you can see by this close up of one piece of it, it is super juicy, really delicious and it doesn't have that distinct duck flavor. It has a really good strong seasoning flavor and that's what we especially like about it. And you can see that nice gradient of fat and meat ratio there it's really delicious so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos every week have a fantastic week everyone and thanks for watching bye